Hello everyone, welcome back. Also, thank you very much for 15k subscribers. Thank you very much. And in this video, I will try to show you how to create new meshes out of a higher poly mesh, like something like that, aka the topology. I will use Polygon Pen tool. I will try to explain every step in my approach to the topology in Cinema 4D. Uh, without further ado, let's start. Before doing anything, let me explain my approach to the topology. I always start with these loops. Let me show you with a doodle. Doodle. Like that eye, you can see that the perfect loop. It has no exit point, such as that horn and mount you can see that it has no exit point if you trace that you will come to where you start you can also include neck let's delete that i will show you exactly what i mean let's select polygon pen enable the project result but don't select your high poly mesh. I will start to add my first polygon over here. This is going to create any mesh. Now, if you hover on the edge, you will see that it's going to be highlighted. If you press Ctrl and move that edge, it's going to extrude that. This is the same for the polygon as well. Just press Ctrl and extrude, but we will not use that much. Another thing is if you press Ctrl and hover on the polygon or edge and if you click on that, it's going to solve or delete that polygon or edge. Now, as I said, I will make a loop around the eye. Just press Ctrl and exit the edges. I want to show you something else. You can see that it might be hard to distinguish your new mesh from the high poly mesh. So in that case, I will select my high poly mesh and enable X-ray. If I select my polygon one more time, you will see that it, it will be so much easier for us to see the new mesh. Now, we have the same shape over here, but if you look at the object, it is not symmetrical. So in such occasions, I like to use a tool called mirror. Select mirror. Change your coordinate system to screen. Because as I said, that object is not symmetrical. So let's select screen and click somewhere in the middle, like here. Then release the mouse. And it's going to mirror. These polygons over here, it's not going to be perfect because it's not symmetrical, but it's going to be much faster than starting from zero. Let's rotate that. I will go back to polygon pen one more time and reposition these points and edges. Okay, now let's do something similar on that horn, select polygon pen and create a loop around the horn. Don't worry about how many polygons you will create. We can always change this. Just try to make something easy to follow. I will do the same thing, select all of these and select mirror, switch to move tool, press E and reposition these polygons. Go back to polygon pen tool and reposition these points. It's going to automatically snap these polygons on the high poly mesh. Now I want to show you something else. You can snap these points to each other or merge them. It happens a lot. So 
to get rid of that i will press shift and v this is gonna open the viewport settings and i will enable back face calling that way it's gonna hide the polygons on the back side but they will be always there so there is gonna be no chance for you to make a mistake another loop i will create these polygons around the mouth press ctrl and extrude at that point we can start to look at other polygons because at the very end we need to match this like this so watch your new edges i will select these polygons double click on them right click and select mirror one more time let's click on the center and make sure that the line should be vertical let's rotate these new ones and reposition i will switch back to polygon pen one more time now we can start to fill in these polygons let's start from here I will do the same thing over here. I will extend these polygons. I will go all the way down to the neck. and we can do the same thing over here i will connect these edges to the neck and we can start to go up i will need a loop cut to connect this so i will just click on the edge and this is gonna add these new cuts then I will press control and connect this. Let's continue to work on here. I will try to follow that loop. Then we can press control and connect this. Here I will move that edge to here and close that polygon so we don't have to create any cuts over here. I will create a new cut on that polygon because you will need more resolution to connect this. Let's move it over here and create a new cut and connect this. All right, now let's work on the mount area. I will do the same thing. I will just connect these edges.
Now I will work on the horn. I will select these polygons and use the mirror technique one more time. Select the mirror, click somewhere middle. So this time you can see that the edges won't match up. So first thing, let me select these. And say it says that we I have eleven edges, which is an odd number, and we don't like odd numbers, especially on this kind of shapes. So I should find a way to get rid of or add one edge loop. I think I can move these over here and merge these. Yeah, that should fix that. Now I will reposition these points okay if you have noticed we don't have uh, even the distributed polygons like this one is has a weird shape this one is smaller it, but that one is longer etc fix that i will hide my high poly and change my display to lines I will select my new mesh, press shift and add a smoothing deformer. And I will turn off the backface culling for now. And you can see that that deformer tries to smooth these polygons. If I turn it on and off, we can see the effect. But it has a downside. We lose the shape. But we have another deformer for that. Let's create a shrink prep deformer and I will put it under the smoothing deformer. In the target object tag, I will put my high poly mesh. We, can we cannot see that I did that, but we can still put that here. And this is gonna bring back the old mesh. We may get some errors like that one. But don't worry about that because I will right click on my object and say current state object and delete that one. Unhide high poly mesh. I will change my display to normal. Switch my, uh, select my polygon. Go to polygon pen one more time and I will reposition these points. They are gonna snap on the high poly. Now we get a perfectly smoothed surface. Let's test that with the subdivision surface. I will press Alt and select subdivision surface. And you can see the surface. It is perfect. No pinching, no distortion. Okay, now with the same exact techniques, I will finish the mount and eyes and I will come back. Right, I have finished these parts. Now we can enable subduction surface. At that point, I can start that sporting edges, select loop cuts. Since these are a perfect loop, I can add these loop cuts easily. Maybe to the teeth. Okay, let's see our high poly mesh and put that over here. Let me turn off that X-ray. I didn't do these small details. I will leave that to you. I hope that this video gives you a basic idea about how to do the topology in Cinema 4D with Polygon Pen tool. 
and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next choice bye